and some new developments here. When I stepped out this morning, it felt a lot warmer and it is. We're five degrees warmer than yesterday morning and then let's take another step back a day. Mm -hmm. Five degrees warmer than that day. So that's a 10 degree difference within 48 hours. So it's like we're scooching back to summer and then we're going to fall real quick into mm -hmm. autumn. Exactly. It's just that roller coaster ride. We were discussing, you know, closed toe shoes, open toe shoes. So do? many questions these days because it is fall, but that's part of it. It's a tug of war between summer and winter. Right now, as Rebecca mentioned, we are warmer. We're coming in 58 degrees to kick off the morning. Winds are calm. So, of course, we are picking up on some patchy fog and beautiful Lebanon this morning. Look, I mean, you guys are early risers. Already somebody on the roundabout. Current temperature coming in 57. Visibility is going to decrease before it increases. I sound like a broken record. Y'all know that. Just be careful and mindful because there's a lot of wildlife. Yet again this morning, saw another fast little critter going across the interstate. Currently, we are picking up visibility issues around McMinnville. We're at four miles over in Giles County. You're coming in right around two in a handful of spots. Temperatures, 50s and 60s with one little 46 degree mark over in Cookville. No surprise there, you guys are the cooler spot, but we're all gonna warm up together. Right now, you'll notice that the Gulf is really being consumed with Hurricane Delta. I mean, look at this system. It's bringing in so much water and that water is warm coming in the 80s. Right now, Delta is at a category two. Stayed pretty consistent over the past bit, having some issues regaining the strength as of right now, which is really working to our benefit. Right now, winds are 100 miles per hour, moving northwest, that forward speed at 15 miles per hour. Because these waters are so warm, still indicated to turn into a major hurricane that category three but making landfall as a category two. Once landfall takes place on Friday around dinner time, that's when that moisture is going to end up moving closer into our vicinity. So what exactly does it look like for us? Well, today still have high pressure. You'll just notice a few more fair weather cumulus clouds in place, not having anything in the way of rain. Then we fast forward going into Friday, more cloud cover becoming quite thick as we head throughout Friday evening. Those are the outer bands and even a few rain showers are anticipated down to our southern tier. That's really going to begin to pick up as we head throughout Saturday and Sunday, but pending the track is really going to depend on how much rain we will receive areas down to our southern tier. As of right now, looking to get around two to three inches to our northern extent quite a bit less for you. It's going to be a very sharp cutoff. Now, because this is a tropical system, it does have characteristics of spin up tornadoes. Not saying that to frighten you, but something we've got to be aware about. That's why we do have a one out of five risk for our Saturday, and I look to see that again going into Sunday. You'll notice it is down right along into the Tennessee Valley because that's exactly where the heaviest rain will be taking place. Here's a look over the next seven days. Pay attention. A lot's happening. 84 degrees today. Tomorrow we'll flirt with 80 degrees. Clouds increase. Some outer bands will ease in by Friday evening. Looking to see rain showers and some breezy winds Saturday and Sunday. The system then begins to exit. Then we head into Tuesday. A cold front's going to move in and Nick, we're going to get a blast of cold air back across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Highs on Wednesday topping out at 70 degrees. So above average, below, back and forth.